Life begins at 250 is about how one of the five 250cc Pro League motorcycles from the stable of Bajaj, KTM and Husqvarna could be your first serious motorcycle, showing you the way to the world of pro riding. And to do that, we invited 10 seasoned Indian riders to ride 25,000 kilometers in 25 days around India. In today's complex world, simplicity and balance are paramount in keeping one sane. And here is where the Swedish philosophy of Lagom comes into play, which means just the right amount of everything for that perfect balance in life. And that is what the Husqvarna Witpillen 250 design also embodies. Sandeep Gajar or the motographer took the keys of the Witpillen 250 from Sandeep Nadimpali after he completed 2,500 kilometers north of India. The motographer who has also traveled to more than 60 countries around the world on choices of machines continued the ride for another 2,500 kilometers starting from Delhi, the capital of India and into beautiful city of Jaipur and Rajasthan before heading deeper into the beautiful state and exploring the cities of Jodhpur, Jaisalmer and Bikaner before finally heading back to Delhi. Sandeep shows us that if you have your basics of motorcycling right, a 250cc motorcycle is the perfect stepping stone into serious motorcycling and hence, for him as a motorcyclist, life begins at 250. Starting from one of the sprawling malls of Delhi, the motographer headed towards the XBHP Dhaba, which is one of the most iconic places from where a lot of ideas were seeded for XBHP and lifestyle motorcycling in India for 17 years. It was the perfect cafe run for the Witpillen 250, which itself has been born out of Husqvarna's long-standing legacy of 117 years, through the busy urban roads of Delhi and into the small oases of serenity and nostalgia. First stop had to be the XPHP Dhaba because this is where it all started 18 years ago. I mean, we were just a couple of bikers and we grew to 10, 100 and this place became small for the kind of gatherings that we were having. From here, we're going to go to Rajasthan. You know, the desert, it doesn't have any distractions in terms of the visual landscape, like the Witpillen. It is also minimalistic and so is the desert. After getting acquainted with the spirited performance of the Witpillen 250, the journey started towards Jaipur via the winding roads of some villages nestled in Haryana in Aravli Hills near Delhi. The perfect setting for a quick jaunt showing off the nimbleness of the Witpillen 250. So the Witpillen 250 is actually very good for roads like these. Not only uh, it is good for urban traffic as you saw, but uh, you know you can actually take this into the mountains and have a lot of fun. So if you are thinking of graduating to a bigger CC bike like 600 or 1000 and if you don't have enough experience, my advice is that you first go ahead and buy a 250cc bike like this. It was a nice ride to Jaipur from Delhi and Jaipur, it's a charming city. Whitfield 250 is the perfect bike for this kind of environment. It's, a, it's an urban bike and I think this is where it feels at home the most. I mean, of course, it can also tackle the highways, it can tackle most roads. But yes, this is a cafe racer in its essence. So behind me is the Royal Albert Hall Museum here in Jaipur, which is the largest museum for the state of Rajasthan. Right, so I've finally reached the city of Jodhpur with the Witpillen 250 and I never could have imagined that even a 250cc motorcycle could be so much fun. Next morning, we explored Jodhpur which is a charming city with intricate narrow lanes in the old city. The Witpillen 250 made it easy to navigate thanks to its ultra-compact and minimalistic design. 
Many of its houses are painted blue and in general have lot of positive vibes all around. We found the Whitpillen 250 to be the perfect subject as a photographer in an urban environment like this. After Jodhpur, we rode to the desert city of Jaisalmer, which took us closer to the sand dunes. The ride from Jodhpur to Jaisalmer was even more exhilarating as the traffic grew sparse and the landscape more rustic and complemented the minimalistic clean lines of the Whitpillen 250 that performed equally well on the highways. We reached Jaisalmer just in time for one of the most beautiful sunsets that we saw on the trip. And after that, it was time to explore the incredible Jaisalmer Fort, which is believed to be one of the very few remaining living forts, with a substantial number of old city population still living inside it. This is the Jaisalmer Fort. Inside the fort, you will find very narrow by lanes. I mean, this is, you can say, urban architecture, medieval urban architecture, and this, the Whitplan 250, fits in it. Um, perfectly in the design sense, in the sense of navigating those narrow by lanes. And uh, as far as my experience with the Whitpillen 250 is concerned, this has really amazed me. Both aesthetically, every time I shoot the motorcycle, I feel that this is a work of art. And it also runs very well. So I feel that if you want to graduate to a motorcycle which has to be your first serious motorcycle, Please do not buy a 600 or 1000 cc, first go for a 250 cc which will teach you the ways of motorcycling on the road, it will teach you heartbreaking, it will teach you cornering and all those kind of things and then you can think of upgrading. And this bike, if you are into cafe racers, is the best out of the whole 250 cc pro league. After exploring Jaisalmer Fort, it was time to head back to Delhi via the city of Bikaner. This route took us through even more isolated highways and roads until we started nearing Delhi. It was great run with the Husqvarna Whitpillen 250 for the 5000 kilometers in north of India and it proved to be a very nimble machine yet very different because of its unique minimalistic design language. If you want to see other 250cc Pro League motorcycles and their riders, head to xphp.com. Life begins at 250 now.